Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make this quick. When we're dealing with automobile and traveling up on the highways, I told you when I was 15 and a half years old, I got my driver's license. It was a law in California that allowed individuals who were 15 years of age to get their driver's license if none of their family members, parents, or essential family members drove and they needed to provide services for the family. So I got my license. When I got my license, the first thing I did, remember I worked for Miss Maxine Waters, the current congresswoman of the state of California. I've not been in touch with Maxine in over 35 years, but Maxine was a friend of the family at one time, and my mother's best friend at one time. Anyway, the first thing she taught us was to, when we go to any job, read the employee's manual front to back. As one of Jehovah's Witnesses, we have this habit of reading the Watchtower in Awake from front to back. I still have that habit to this day. Well, I read the DMV manual from front to back, and it talked specifically at that time about passengers for hire. Did my research on passengers for hire and realized that the only people who needed licenses were those who were carrying passengers for hire. Lord have mercy. Now. I've known this since then. This is not knowledge I got from somebody else. This is stuff that I actually went over as a child. So, let me explain. Ex parte, Dicky. This is a Virginia case. You're going to see we're going to have it from several different cases. The distinction between a private use of a vehicle and its use for transportation of passengers or goods for hire lies in the requirement for a license, the latter being subject to regulations to ensure public safety and compliance with commercial regulations. Frost versus Railway Commission. While private individuals may use their vehicles without a license for personal purposes, the use of vehicles for transportation of passengers are good for hire necessitates obtaining a license because they're engaged in commercial activities. Congress has the right to regulate commerce. Then we have Louisiana. The law clearly defines, or dis delineates, excuse me, between private personal use and commercial use of vehicles. With the latter, the commercial use of vehicles requiring a license for transportation of passengers are good for hire, thereby imposing a regulation. Congress does not have the right to regulate the public. They only have the right to regulate commerce. Thompson versus Smith. Everybody knows this Virginia case. Persons using their vehicle for private purposes does not require a license, but engaging in a business for the transportation of blah, 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 blah. Go to ChatGPT. Tell ChatGPT, I need you to pull up other cases that agree with this. Find a case and tell it you need at least 24 other cases that agree. And the next time an officer stops you, just tell me um, you said that's the law. Well, the courts have said, no, it isn't. So are you telling me that the courts got it wrong and you got it right? No, no, just say it for the record. And we can go in court and I can have you testify that you know more than the judges do. That you know more about the law than they do. Wait, don't you guys normally tell people y'all don't know anything about the law that we have to talk to an attorney? Oh, so then you don't know what the law is. Well, here, go ahead. That's your copy. Go educate yourself. Sorry. Gotta go! Bye-bye.